Identified as a fisherman out of Shockey One, and known to have been shot by a local businessman. Shot dead? Yes. We think for his boat, that's gone. And by a local businessman? Ballistics have matched the bullet to one fired by this man on Thursday night whilst making his escape. Man's a convict? Mm. He's a mental patient. But he is armed and dangerous. That's why I'm here. A manhunt? We wouldn't normally bother you with a thing like this. The problem is, we think he's taken this boat to one of the outer islands, and as you know, there are rather a lot of them. We need to catch this man in a hurry. What we want is a combined operation with Marine Police to search all the outer islands in the shortest possible time. Ourselves and the patrol craft? Every available ship. Would my men be armed? Yes. I think so, in the circumstances. For self-defense only. There will be police officers with you if it should come to a shootout. I see. Anything more you can tell us about the man? Well, he was one of the most successful businessmen in Hong Kong. Finger in every pie. But he liked to play hard as well. Started with women, graduated to booze, then drugs. Finally, he flipped his lid. Did he fight his way out of the hospital? No, he walked out. He tried to get on a liner at Kowloon Ocean Terminal. He was stopped by the customs. He shot the officer concerned, wounding him. Contraband? Maybe. Maybe he had more money than he could explain. Or perhaps gems. Possibly he's just out of his mind. What's his name? Chilton. Victor Chilton. The same name that's over every dodgy business house in Hong Kong. Sounds as though you don't like him much. I don't like him at all. to the gangway, sir. Right, thank you. Zoe. Hello, James. That's this way, sir. Thank And you sold it? Complete with photographs. Oh, well done. Reckon this calls for celebration. Aberdeen? Or are you bored with floating restaurants? No, that's fine. So what was all that about? They found out about you at last? Who? The law. Oh. Oh, we're helping the police with their inquiries into the activities of an alcoholic lady journalist. <laughs> now, the truth. I'm being interviewed. Interrogated. We're to act in support of the Marine Police. A manhunt. Really? Well, that's un... not Victor Chelton. <laughs> I might have guessed. Well, the whole island's buzzing with it. He shot a customs officer, didn't he? I believe he did. Another half. I may as well live up to my image. It's a good story, this Chelton business. Vice in high places, heiress wife abandoned, maniac on the run, and your boys are going up against him. Well, the police will do that. We're to be the beaters, I suppose, put up the quarry for them. Was that usual? The Navy helping the police? No. No, but this is a rush job. There are 236 islands out there. Flint, can we have some more ice? They've got this ship, and the patrol craft, RAF helicopters, landing Gurkha troops. I wonder why. Why what? Why are the police so anxious to get him? Oh, he's mentally disturbed. Dangerous. Well, they don't usually mobilise the entire militia. Oh, yes, but in this case, they know exactly who they're looking for. Precisely. What are you getting at? Well... It could be that Victor Chelton is a case for special treatment in more ways than one. You mean he's let down the club? Something like that. Well, that's not my problem. Quick shift, we are. Uh, yes, sir. Hello, Zoe. Hello, Bill. Oh, just a stroll ashore, sir. Haircut run, I suppose. Wine tasting, actually, sir. I am the wardroom wine caterer. Time for a quick one here. 
Well, thank you, sir, but it uh, might spoil the palate. Doesn't say much for my wine. It doesn't say much for my palate. Excuse me. Jenny? Hello, sailor. Long time. Life seems to have treated you with respect. Ooh, ten years, Jenny. Less hair, more caution. <laughs> and me? Still the girl of 25. At least you haven't become so barnacle encrusted you've forgotten how to flatter. So I see. You remember. One doesn't forget things like that. For the luck, Missy. If you have two loaves... Sell one and buy a flower. And still the same old flower seller. She's always there. Bill, why did you telephone me after all this time? I hope it wasn't awkward. No, no. I'm on board here. But Hero's been in and out of Hong Kong for the past what, nine weeks. Yes. So why now? I don't know. I, I meant to call before, but... Are you married? No. Why not? Happy enough. Are you? How are things with Victor? Murder. Ah, you didn't know that part. I knew about the customs officer. Yes. Well, the dead fisherman bit is not for publication. Oh, all right. Well, not until I hear it from other sources. Exactly. Is that trigger happy? How do you feel about the naval involvement? A little twitched. I bet. Can I come? What? On the search tomorrow. No. Why not? I'd have to get permission. So? I can't justify the danger. No, not on the islands. Just in Hero. Operation from the command end. Uh, well, if we offer facilities to you, we'd have to offer to every other journalist. The other journalists don't know. Precisely. Could be seen as favouritism. So? I'm your favourite journalist. Not in dispute. You're being very proper. I am very proper. Mm. Well, it could cost you a very expensive dinner. So what's new? I'd get him off the drink. A dry out in the sanatorium, and then there'd be a, a business crisis or a big social function, and he'd be back on it again, wild as ever. And drugs, too. One hears things. No doubt. He's in a very bad way, Bill, and well, it's largely my fault. I... Shall we eat? Yes, of course.
well, well. Small world. What? Build Kylie. Well, at least he is tasting the wine. And sampling the local fare. And the upper crust at that. Upper crust? Well, that, unless I'm very much mistaken, is Mrs. Jenny Chelton. Chelton? Wife of the lamented Victor. You're sure? Yes. I saw some photographs of her this morning at the press club. So, no children? No home life for him? Just work and worry? It can't have been easy. Ten years of it. No. But I am married to him, Bill. He has to have my loyalty, if not my affection. You have every right to divorce him. No. Not when he's sick and supposedly on the run from the police. Supposedly? All this nonsense about him shooting a customs officer. You don't believe it? No. Well, he, he doesn't even have a gun, Bill. But I... No chance of going, I suppose. No. Your job is to see we don't run aground on the islands. So who'll go? Reduced landing party plus Fuller. Oh, oh faithful. I was grateful for him in Singapore, and he's our best marksman. Suppose this chap, Chelton, will start shooting then? He might. That's if the police don't shoot him first. What do you have? Oh, um, horse's neck. Just a small one. Wish I could go. Look, Paul. The odds against us picking the right island are hundreds to one. I'd still rather have a ticket than not be in the raffle at all. I wouldn't. I've already been shot at once, this commission. Right. You tear about the Far East like. Action man on roller skates. And you drive the ship. More excitement out of driving a rickshaw. The only excitement we'll get tomorrow will be jumping out of a Gemini into three feet of water. Maybe. Fifty Hong Kong dollars say we don't get within ten miles of Chelton. You might. Not unless he sends us a telegram saying where he is. Well? What? Oh. Fifty dollars. <laughs> There's raw courage for you. Wants to land against an armed man, but won't risk a fiver in a harmless wager. Harmless? You always win. Ah, well, fortune favours the bold. Fortune favours first lieutenants. Bet you couldn't say that when you're drunk. I think I'll go ashore and find out. <laughs> well, I still think it's my fault. Now, that's the second time you've said that. Well, I mean it. I feel guilty. But why? The marriage has failed. It, well, it must be 50% my fault. Well, you haven't been unfaithful to him. No, of course not. Well, the word is that uh, Jenny plays around too. Whose word? Oh, gossip, I admit. But no smoke and all that. Hong Kong's a bit like a ship. A closed community. Rumours bound to be rife. Ah, there's another one. Yes? The chief inspector in charge of the case. Granger? Very dolly wife. So? He's been having an affair with... Guess who? Victor Chelton? Now you're learning the game. No, I... Look, I'm sure it's frame-up. Oh, Jenny. Well, they've been after him for ages. Victor sailed pretty close to the wind for years. Even so. And the Anti-Corruption Committee had a good hard look at him. They didn't find anything, of course, but they weren't happy. And now this man, um, Granger, the... Uh... And the Chief Inspector. So you do know about it? Oh, uh, Granger came on board today. Why? Well, something about Victor trying to break into the naval base, trying to steal a boat. You think he's got one already? What? Jenny, do you know where he is? I think so. Then you must tell the police. Oh, no. Jenny. Well, they'd they kill him, I'm sure they would. Granger hates him. Where is he? I can't tell you. But you must. Why? Well, I may be able to help. Well, why should you help Victor? Well, not Victor, you. Look, you said yourself you can't do anything with the life until he's square away. Well, I think he's on one of the islands. Which one? It's where we used to picnic. It's, it's always been or a refuge for Victor. 
there's an old ruined temple. He, he could hide from an air search. Well, that's if he's thinking that clearly. How far is it? It's about six or seven miles. You haven't tried to get out there to see him? No, I... Well, I don't know what he might do. Well, he wouldn't attack you. He is very sick. Then you do admit that he could... could be capable of violence. Well... And he could have shot the customs officer. No. He didn't despise the customs officer. What? Yes. He does despise me. Guns. On the chief inspector's advice. Self-defense only. Well, that's daft. You won't think so if Jelton starts shooting. Well, he's a lot more likely to start shooting if he sees we've got guns to shoot at him. Oh, well, there it is. We do what the chief inspector wants. It's his game. Aye, well, I'm no paid to get shot at. When you come to think about it, you are. Anyway, you know what to do. Oh, yes, sir. I know what to do. Hmm? Find the biggest policeman in Hong Kong. Stand behind him. Jenny, you've got to let me help. No, it's far too dangerous. It may be worth it to me. Why? If you could get your marriage squared away. Oh, Jenny, you know why I've never married. I made a mistake, too. Well, then let me help. Tell me where he is. He's on Han Hing Island, I think. Han Hing? Mm. Right. But, but you won't tell the police. No, no, I won't. I promise. Evening, we are. Oh, evening, sir. Uh, sorry. Uh, Jenny, this is uh, Zoe Carter and uh, Captain Holt, my captain. How do you do? I'd ask you to join no, us. No, 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 please. We're just leaving. Drop in for a nightcap when you get back on board. Aye, aye, sir. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. Trust them to choose the same restaurant. It doesn't matter, does it? No. What does matter is you take care on Han Hing Island. Now, how well do you know Jenny Chilton? You knew. Zoe recognized her. I saw her tonight for the first time in ten years. Who contacted whom? I contacted her. Why? Well, in case I could help her. In the light of Granger's visit? Yes. Did you know her well, ten years ago? I courted her here in Hong Kong, off and on, for about six months. And? I asked her to marry me. She refused? Her father refused, to be precise. She was a banker's daughter. Her father thought a naval officer had uh, limited prospects. Vis-a-vis -vis what? A whiz kid like Victor Chelton. He was the other contender? Yes. So you knew him too? Quite well. You might have told me, Bill, this evening, before your wine tasting. Well, I wanted to find out the real score first, sir, from Jenny. Which was? Victor's a very sick man, sir. Well, Granger told us that. Yeah, but Jenny thinks Granger's out to kill him. Why did she think that? Well, the police have been after him for years. Nothing to do with adultery? Sir? Jenny's or Chelton's? Jenny? Well, Jenny's a very honest, loyal woman, sir. Loyal? Well, she stood by Chelton all these years. There's a rumor that she's been having an affair. That's a lie. Coffee? No, thank you, sir. Did you tell Jenny about the dead fisherman? No. So you don't trust her that much? I trust her. She didn't seem to know, and I, I didn't want to distress her. But she's heard about the customs officer? Yes. She doesn't believe it. Hello? Mrs. Chelton? Zoe Carter? Bill Kiley introduced us this evening. Yes, that's right. I was wondering if we might meet. You mean, she told you? Well, it's her best guess on where he might be, sir. And where's that? Well, I don't think I can say so. Bill, we'll have men landing on those islands tomorrow. 
If you know anything that can possibly prepare them, you must say. But Jenny trusts me, sir. Or she's using you. Using me? How? Ah. I've heard a great deal about Mrs. Chilton tonight. And? By her own admission, she doesn't know that Chilton's killed anyone. But if he did kill, he'd get put away forever, she'd get a divorce and his money. What are you saying? She may be putting you up against him to see what happens. <laughs> I won't believe that. She's turned her back on you once before, Bill. That was different. All right. Perhaps she sees it like this. She tells you where he is. You tell me, we land armed sailors on that island, he gets killed, that solves her problem too. No, 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 she's trying to help him, sir. And I want you to help me, and the landing party. But it's betraying her confidence. Or doing exactly what she wants. No police? You can't believe it's a frame-up? Well, I can't be sure. And I'm not taking a chance on being responsible for Chilton's death. What do you mean? Give me a guarantee that our men will use guns only in self-defense. Guaranteed? And no squads of police? No squads of police. All right. She thinks he's on Han Hing. It's a small, uninhabited island about six or seven miles to the southeast of Lee Yuma. Thank you, but... I only hope I've done the right thing. The man's armed, dangerous, already killed once and wounded once he has to be caught. Yes, sir. Sir, could I go with the landing party? Do you think that's advisable? Well, he might react to a friendly face. I wouldn't take a gun and... Well, I do feel responsible, sir. All right, Bill. If you agree to stay close to number one. Agreed, sir. All right. Good night, Bill, and thanks again. Good night, sir. Evening, sir. Good run? No. Ah, well, can't win them all. I can't win any of them. I can't even get in the raffle. Beg your pardon, sir? Can you say? Fortune favours first lieutenants. Oh, well, I'd have to practice, sir. I've been practicing all the way from the dockyard gate. Passes the time, I suppose, eh? Ah, uh, it's the trouble. What's that, sir? Time is passing. Oh, very true, sir. Good night, Fuller. Good night, sir. The captain's got it fixed in his head. She's some kind of Marta Hari. He must have his reasons. Yeah, Zoe. She's been delving like a good journalist. Listening to the whispers. Father would need more than whispers. Well, he's got it. A failed marriage. What? Well, his wife left him. Betrayed him, if you like. So now he thinks every wife is capable of betrayal. That's Freudian. That's fact. Then why is he bothering with Zoe? Well, he's not committed yet. He's still getting to know her. And you're getting to know Jenny again. She hasn't changed. I am told that young love has a rose-colored tint. <laughs> It's hardly young love now. Your knowledge of Jenny is ten years old and rose-tinted. She's genuine, James. You know, she's worked hard at her marriage, helping out at schools, raising money for charities. I've never met anyone like her. And never forgotten her? Never. So what happens now? Well, we'll try to get to Victor Chelton tomorrow on Han Hing. And having restored him to the bosom of his wife, You'll ride off into the sunset. I'm not sure. This time you could stay and fight. Well, she's still married to Victor. And according to you, deserves better. Yes. Someone better. See you in the morning. Right. I agree, sir, but I don't want Bill Kiley on that landing party. Because you think he could get himself killed? I think he could be careless in his current state of mind. Why? He's nursed a broken heart for ten years, always looking back to Jenny, or his image of her. 
He may not see it like that. Isn't the prime requirement that Jenny should think fondly of him? Remember him as steadfast and true in all things. So isn't he sacrificing his happiness and his opportunity for her errant husband? Perhaps. And if that sacrifice had to be supreme? Jenny would never forget him then, would she? That's rather fanciful. Is it? I know Bill Kiley, sir. We're old ships. Go on. Jenny rejected him as a husband, but he still loves her. The Navy rejected him as a promotion candidate, but he still loves it. So? Both personally and professionally, he's been passed over. But his loyalty is unshakable. Well, that doesn't mean he gave away his life for anyone. He gave ten years of it away to the memory of Jenny. That's an entirely different thing. How different? If he'll surrender ten years to her, why not the rest of his life? I'm sorry, James. He's going. I'm in charge of that landing party, sir. I say who goes. I gave him my word. And I say who goes. Aye, aye, sir. Ah, oh, James. I've, um, I've been thinking about that to Chelsea, haven't we all? He's bound to be very frightened. Him and me both. So I'd suggest a loud hail of warning when we land. All right, you can do that. Announce yourself as his old mate. Well, we were friends once, you know. Good. Well, it could work. <laughs> it had better. Robin about early. I'm a journalist, not a naval officer. Help yourself some coffee. Yes. And listen to the good news. Oh? I've decided to be improper. It's about time to. I mean in respect of your coming to sea with us. I got on to the Joint Services PRO ashore and he's clearly with the captain in charge. Oh, thanks. But I don't want to come. Oh. Why not? I have an interview ashore with Jenny Charlton. You think that's more interesting than capture a wanted man? You probably won't even get a sniff of him. In the immortal words, there's something you should know. Fresh developments? If I tell you, it's to put you to work. On whose behalf? Bill Kiley's. Then we're on the same side. Makes a pleasant change. Uh, but nothing's for print until everything is resolved. What I like about this relationship is the deep trust on which it's based. Have you told me everything you know? Not yet. Uh, come and have some coffee and I'll tell you what we planned. Right, thanks. As you know, we slip at 08.15, which means we should get off Han Hing at about 09.30. Thank you. Now, I've decided to take a reduced landing party with us, which means 12 men, P.O. and myself. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. It's all right, Bill. Bye, Edward. Bye, bye. Granger's on board. Yes. And I told you, no police. I hope you didn't tell me anything, Bill. We agreed no squads of police, and there aren't. Only Granger. Semantics. Far from it. I had a hell of a job persuading Granger not to bring his marksman. Especially now that we've every likelihood of catching Chilton. But Grange is the trigger happy one. We've no evidence of that. Jenny said it. Jenny said a whole lot of things, Bill. Not all of which I accept. Ah, sit down. Look, I... I know this whole thing's a mess of rumours and half-truths. But the fact is we are not allowed to land armed men on a Hong Kong island without police permission and supervision. That's a point of law. I still think Granger's a menace. Granger bent his own rules, for your sake, after a, a bit of persuasion. He's agreed to let the landing party in under joint command of himself and number one, and that every effort should be made to take Chilton alive. All right? Yes. Now, let's get the ship to sea. Aye, aye, sir. Steer one, three, two. 
Pond 5, Stair 1, and 3, 2. Three miles to run, sir. Away boat crews, sir. Away cutter and Gemini crews. <laughs> Carry on, Betty Officer Diamond. Aye, sir. I wish you'd wear eights like the rest of us. I want his eye to go to me. Maybe he'll remember me. The problem is, his aim's liable to go to you, too. That sure makes a good target. If he recognizes me, he won't shoot. I would want to bet on that. Landing party faster at the starboard scrambling net. Let's go. Bill, have a go. You don't have to stand. Yes, I do. I want him to see me. Victor! Victor Chilton! Victor Chilton! This is Bill Kiley. Bill Kiley. You remember? We were friends years ago. We've come to help you, Victor. We want you to come out and give yourself up. I say again, we've come to help you. Hello, an anti-climax if he isn't here. Speak for yourself.
Mrs. Chelton, I'm so glad you could make it. What is all this about? I'm a journalist. You could have told me that before I agreed to see you. But would you have agreed to see me? No, certainly not. Then my tactics were the correct ones. And I can leave now. Why, Mrs. Chelton? I'm giving you a chance. For what? To put your side of the story before I go into print. I suppose it's about Victor. Or what drives a man to murder? Murder? At least you weren't acting that bit. What do you mean? Edward Holt said you didn't know. What murder? Your husband killed a fisherman and stole a boat. I don't believe that. Yes, you do. And we're going to talk about it. attention. On the order, pan out and start searching the island. If you find anything, footprints, a fire, whatever, break off and report at once to me or Mr. Granger. Right. Let's go. There you go, lad. Move away to your left. Hello to your right. You've been picking up gossip, Miss Carter. Well, there's plenty of it about, I'm sure. You do have a pretty mixed reputation, no doubt. No, you see... No, I don't really fit in here. I'm more concerned with social work rather than social frills. Social work? Yes, I do chair several committees. You're good at getting people to work for you. I think so. Like Bill Kiley. How do you mean? It didn't take you long to get a meeting out of your hand again. Bill and I were very close. Captain Holt thinks you're using him. Really? Putting him into danger. Deliberately. So Captain Holt discusses his officers with journalists, does he? He briefed me to get the truth. For Bill Kiley's sake. Miss Carter, I'm very fond of Bill Kiley. I wouldn't do anything to harm him. Mrs. Chelton. The truth is that you'd use anyone to get rid of your husband and keep his money. I have money of my own. Uh, no, you don't. I checked on that this morning. You put all your money into Chelton International Toys, which folded last November. Half my husband's money belongs to me. You resent it going on other women, booze and marijuana. Victor is frittering away the inheritance. He must be stopped. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. I've already told you. I am trying to save my husband. Are you? I spoke with Captain Holt just before Hero sailed. He told me about Hang Hing Island. So? Oh, <laughs> come along, Mrs. Chelton. Where's the outrage? Bill has told his captain. He's divulged your secret. That is what he was supposed to do, isn't it? No, of course not. I mean, you couldn't go to the police. That would be giving the game away. So you've cast yourself as the ingenuous, innocent, long-suffering little woman. I told you. I wouldn't put Bill in danger. No, you just arranged for him to take on a maniac with a gun.
That's as far as you go, Kylie. I know the situation, Victor. So do I. She told you, didn't she? You will find him on Han Hing, she said. She wants to help you, Victor. She wants me dead. That's not true. Of course it's true. I don't move. She sent you after me with guns. I'm not armed. That's your mistake. You still, uh, still want her, do you? She's your wife, Victor. My wife. <laughs> my companion. My comforter. My wife. <laughs> She's a leech. A bloodsucker. She only wants to help you. She only wants to help herself. Drop it, Granger. Drop it. Or I'll kill Kylie. That sort of talk's no good, Victor. It's all over. Put on your own gun. I'm the one who's supposed to be mad, Granger. What good will this do you? Good. I'll kill you for a start. You've hounded me, Granger. You've cost me a lot of money. Spent money, Victor. You never got away with it. My God, how I've longed to kill you. I've had you shoved down my throat for the past ten years. Secure, loyal, mature. If only I'd married Bill. Dear Bill. You're going to die. Have you got one at the spout? Yes, sir. Well, for God's sake, don't miss with it. You would have killed us both, Commander. But I promised her. I promised. Anyone will tell you I've stood by Victor for years. You've had ample reason for divorce. A marriage is a marriage. But he's very well off. Money's got nothing to do with it. Hasn't it? Now, what are you trying to say? Oh, it's just something else I found out this morning. Yes? That you... Poor Victor. He hasn't been able to have affairs lately, has he? Being in and out of mental hospitals. But you, on the other hand... Well, you almost missed the boat. But now Victor is divorcing you for adultery with a young, penniless army officer called Lieutenant Robin Mercator. And you won't get a cent of Victor's money unless he dies as your legal husband. You can't prove this. You wouldn't dare print it. And Bill Kiley will never believe it. The funny thing was, sir, just towards the end, I believed him. Yes. Yes, I was afraid of that. What will you do? Turn the clock back, sir. Ah. Jenny Chilton. I haven't seen her for ten years. <laughs> 